Hi guys, Ronnie here from 499. Here in my hands, right here, is the OnePlus 3, the latest flagship from OnePlus. Let's unbox this device, take a look how it performs, and see what it offers. So here we have the box of the OnePlus 3. Let's actually open it up and take a look what's inside. So this is the Indian variant of the device we have here. As you can see, the sticker price is 27999. And this is the graphite color of the device available in both graphite and gold. The gold is coming later, but at launch you have only the graphite we're going to be unboxing today. Take a look at the OnePlus 3 for the first time. Boom, here you go. So it's an all uh, red and white packaging like the original OnePlus 1. Uh, the device that's in here. And really excited to actually take a look at it. So let's actually take it out from here. It's nicely placed here. And the camera module is like so massive. It's a 16 megapixel Sony uh, module on the back with a LED flash. And this feels super premium. Probably the best device from OnePlus yet, OnePlus 3. So we have the OnePlus 1, the OnePlus 2, the OnePlus X, which was a minor device. And now we have the massive flagship. So beautiful device. And let's put this aside for a quick second and take a look at the box contents. And we also get the USB type C cable with a kind of a protective cover on that. So this is the type C cable for charging the device. And the OnePlus 3 actually supports uh, dash charging with their own proprietary quick charging solution. It's not the regular Qualcomm quick charge. So a lot of uh, OnePlus 2 users did uh, miss the quick charge feature on the OnePlus 2. So the OnePlus 3, they've actually added uh, something even faster than quick charge. So this is uh, the dash charger. As you can see, it's got a 5 volt output and 4 ampere current rating. So OnePlus claims this uh, charger can charge the OnePlus 3 from 0 to 60 percent in 30 minutes flat. That's pretty impressive. Let's actually take a look at that later. As you can see, the dash branding on the charging cable as well. Pretty nice uh, set of cables. Uh, let's actually take a look at what else is here. So there's another letter from Carl Pei, the co-founder of OnePlus. So at OnePlus, we understand there are many choices and basically a thank you note from the co-founders. So thumbs up to Carl if he's watching this. <laughs> yep, so they've done some great work on the OnePlus 3, I'm sure. So you actually can reach out to him in case you bought this. And uh, so that's the card for that. There's another kind of sleeve here. Let's actually take a look at what's here. So you get some stickers, the Never Settle sticker. That's the motto of the company, Never Settle. And that's a sticker here. And you also get this nice SIM ejector tool, which was on the OnePlus One. One of the most useful things from OnePlus because it has this really long uh, kind of pin. So it's useful to open most phones. I have one in my wallet all the time, even though I'm not using a OnePlus device. So that's that and I also have some uh, user guide here and the quick start guide so let's take a look at what is here this is our information for europe the indian unit actually has it on the back here it's a 0 0.78 for watts per kilogram for the head and 0 0.581 watts per kilogram for the body well within the limit so you guys may also want to take a look at the box itself so you get um, the pricing here so this is the official price in india 27 triple nine and exclusive to amazon.in goes on sale on june 15th so the OnePlus 3 is probably the third uh, flagship from OnePlus. Uh, if you discount the OnePlus X, which was a, not really a flagship, but more of an affordable device. So the OnePlus 3 does uh, do justice to the previous two uh, flagships from OnePlus. The OnePlus 1 came out a couple of years ago and it did create a lot of waves in the market. It was disruptive mainly because of the pricing and awesome specs it offered. And it was running on CyanogenMod, mod, which was a big deal at that point of time. And the OnePlus 2 continued on great design again and it brought on dual sim functionality which was a top wanted feature on the oneplus so the oneplus 3 is a culmination of all these awesome features and is a much more refined device from the company and we can actually see that the moment you pick that up it doesn't look uh, like a device from a small time company compared to the big names in the industry and yet it has really awesome and state-of-the-art specs so the OnePlus 3 actually has a 5.5 inch optical AMOLED display. So let's actually power it on. So it's powering on. It also has a screen protector installed out of the factory. And let's actually get rid of this uh, kind of label on the back. So it says, uh, so dual SIM. Okay, there's NFC as well, which is coming back to the OnePlus 
3. So it was there on the 1 plus 1, missing, went missing on the 1 plus 2, and it's back on the 1 plus 3. So let's put this sticker aside, and these are some certification information for regulatory confirmation in India. So should probably leave this on. Beautiful OnePlus logo on the back, and the screen is booted up. Really nice looking display here, AMOLED display. And let's actually set it up. So you have the Google keyboard uh, and a Swift, Swift key option on the time of setup. We actually set up the phone using the Google keyboard. So let's actually set it up. So it's asking for a name. We'll add the account information later. So the OnePlus 3 actually has a fingerprint sensor on the same position as the OnePlus 2. So you have the home key, uh, which is the fingerprint sensor. So let's actually set it up. So let's also give in a backup password. So let's just give a default pin. So let's actually set it up. So set up, you need to just keep the finger and take it out. And wow, that screen is really nice. So the display, as I said, is an optical AMOLED display and uh, really nice colors on the display. And even the view viewability looks interesting and good. And uh, it's got a 401 PPI pixels per inch. And it's in terms of protection, it's got Corning Gorilla Glass 4 in terms of protection. That's 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass 4. And in terms of the fit in the hand, it feels really nice to hold. It's not too big and not too small either. And you have the power key sitting right at your right thumb in case you're a right-hander. And uh, on the left, you have the special alert slider, which lets you change profiles. Um, and you also have the volume buttons, volume up and volume down. And in the front, you have the eight megapixel camera. And uh, the earpiece, at the bottom, you have the home key and also the menu key and the back key. So let's go into the app drawer. So it's running on Oxygen OS, which is almost plain vanilla Android, but some tweaks under the hood. So on the sides, you can see the nice design for the antennas. And uh, the back, on the right at the bang, in the center, you have the 16 megapixel uh, camera module along with an LED flash, the OnePlus branding. And the design looks pretty nicely done. Um, and even there, even the, though there are bands, it's nicely done. You have a microphone right at top of the camera. And wow, this thing is really nicely built. And OnePlus fans are definitely going to love this device. And under the hood is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor along with 6 gigs of RAM. Yes, this is probably one of the first devices to ship with 6 gigs of RAM on board DDR4 RAM. And uh, on the bottom, you have the nice uh, screws and the loudspeaker and the USB Type-C port right at the center, the infamous audio jack and another microphone hole. On the top, there's nothing, it's flush on the top and uh, it's just about 158 grams in terms of weight and it's about 7.35 millimeters in terms of thickness. This is the graphite uh, color of the device. So the entire thing is anodized uh, aluminum or aluminum. So that's the material which is used and gives the device so much premium feel in the hand. And uh, there's also a soft cold version is going to be coming later, but at launch you only have the graphite version. So on the right side, uh, right above the power key, uh, you also have the SIM card slot. So let's actually open it up and show you the dual nano SIM card arrangement. So it says nano SIM only, just to make sure people don't use micro SIM and kind of get it st stuck somewhere. That's actually smart of them to have shows them the size of the device as well. So, uh, I mean, the SIM card, that's pretty handy to have. And uh, so there's no memory card uh, slot, but then you have 64 gigs of storage on board by default. So let's actually show you that in a second. So you have used off 196 MB, used out of 52.6, that's a formatted capacity. And uh, let's actually go into the RAM. I'm actually interested to check out the RAM. You have 5.6 gigs of RAM. I think even my old laptop had only like four gigs of RAM. So you come to a time when a phone has 5.6 gigs of RAM and you have 4.5 gigs of available space and the RAM, so which is awesome. And let's check out the batteries. It's powered by a 3000 mAh battery with the dash charging. It's a special quick charge from uh, OnePlus. And let's actually check out the Android version as well. So even the notification tray, everything seems unchanged, very similar to it's running on Oxygen OS 3.1.0. 
and under the hood is uh, Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. The model number is OnePlus A3003. I think it was A1000 or something for the OnePlus One. So yeah, so I think this is the back uh, kind of menu key. The back key I think is on the left. So I think you can change all of that in the settings. Nothing is uh, like hard configured, you can change it. So the same. So the hardware feels really awesomely done and the fingerprint sensor is there as well. So let's actually check out the fingerprint sensor one more time. OnePlus says that the phone can kind of display can power on from the press to the screen unlocking to in 0.3 seconds, which is freaking fast. I've never seen something this fast. I mean, it does seem uh, super fast in terms of unlocking. And uh, the camera is a uh, Sony model they're using put to the front and the back. It's an eight megapixel uh, F2.0 aperture on the front. And also the back, it's a 16 megapixel Sony uh, PDF module. So the OnePlus 3 has a really great camera. So I've been trying it out and this is the OnePlus 3 camera in action. This is the rear camera, it's a 16 megapixel camera module. Really fast, you can also do burst uh, sh shooting and all that stuff. So it's pretty good. The OnePlus 1 had a great camera, the OnePlus 2 also had a great camera, the OnePlus 3 continues the legacy and you have lots of options in terms of the settings. So do check out our other video in terms of the camera. So we're going to be posting uh, the camera review and also some camera samples. So do check that video out. So the front facing camera is also great. It's a eight megapixel again, Sony module is being used. So pretty great quality and also has a F2.0 aperture and uh, there's some setting here as well. The smile mode, so you can actually smile. <laughs> it takes a picture. So the smile shutter, pretty decent feature to have on a phone. So that's something we did without any script or anything. Just worked out of the box. And in case you want us to compare the three devices, uh, do check out our other video, which we're going to be comparing the OnePlus 1, the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 2. So do check out that video as well. So that's it guys. So that was an unboxing of the OnePlus 3, the latest flagship from OnePlus. Amazing new design and great specs and a great price point too. So do hit the like button if you like this video and do subscribe to our channel if you're not done so already. And do not forget to check out our other videos of the OnePlus 3, including the gaming review in which we show you how hot the device gets. And also we're going to check out the camera as well in some other video. And also we have some cases we are showing in the other videos as well. So do check out the videos. They are in the description below. And do uh, let us know in the comments as to what do you think about the OnePlus 3. Are you getting one? So see you guys in the next video. That's Varun from Phone Arena signing off.